Yo, 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 scholars. Let's continue on here with example number six. We have these two examples here. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and solve for x. Okay, and uh, we're going to learn kind of like a new property slash a new technique right now. So this is this is actually one of my favorites here. It's really neat um, how this works. Okay, and the way that I want to kind of show you here is this is, okay, let's pretend that this had, actually not even pretend, but what is the base right here? E, right? So we know that th we know that this is natural log base E 3x. So say if I wanted to get rid of this ln, what's one of our properties that we've used to get rid of ln? If you come over here, isn't that when you have E to, to the power of ln, right? Because if this is E right here, then that means that those would cancel out, right? So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to do a thing called exponentiates. And when you when you exponentiate, that means that all of these becomes our exponents and E becomes our base. So I'm going to make my E my base and these are going to now become my exponent. And this right here, what I'm doing right now is called exponent, exponentiates. It's kind of a hard word to say there. Two to the error, right? So notice what I did. I took my same answer right here and I just put E as my base. And look at what happens. Those guys cross out. We get 3x equals E squared. Cool beans right there, right? That's pretty sweet. So now the ln right here was gone. Now I have a 3x. And now we can divide by 3 or multiply by 1 third. So 1 third times E squared. And if you actually want like an approximate decimal, you can put E in your calculator. And that's going to give you approximately 2.46. But uh, this guy right here is the precise answer. And this right here would be your approximate answer. Okay. So, uh, and that's just, and that's why I put the little squiggly lines. It means approximately because that's a non-repeating decimal that goes on forever. All right, move along here to example B. So we have log base. 3 of 5x minus 1 and log base 3 of x plus 7. Look at this. If they both have the same base on both sides, meaning that they have the same base in our log, basically what that means is we're basically taking just 5x minus 1 and that equals x plus 7. And that should kind of make sense. Because basically we're we're doing the uh, one to one property, right? Remember that property where we said, say if I had log of x equals log of y. If it's the same log, we learned in 3.2 that those can just cross out, and then we have x equals y. Okay, so we're you so we're doing the one to one property. Those guys are gone, and now look, five x minus one equals x plus seven. Cool beans, right? So maybe like I'll add one to uh, both sides and I'll subtract x all in one line right there, which is not a normal thing you do in mathematics, but it's funny you can do it there. So uh, 4x equals 8, which that means x equals dos amigos. And uh, that's going to give us our completion of example number 6.